Okay, solution then to number four. So what we have here is uh, in part A, this girl saves 5p in the first week, then 7p, and then 9p. And it's going to carry on like that all the way up until the 200th week. So we've got to find the amount that she saves in week 200. So what this is, is an arithmetic progression. And in this arithmetic progression, we're going up in steps of two. And we're looking for the 200th term. So what you should know for arithmetic series is that the nth term, okay, I'll just write it over here, the nth term is always given by the first term A plus the number of terms N minus 1 times the common difference D. Now N will be 200 because there's going to be 200 terms there and D, the common difference, is the gap that exists between each of the successive terms and the gap always remains at 2 so D is going to be 2. So we can then say that the amount in the 200th week, okay, it's given intro, equals A, which is the first term, 5, plus N minus 1, so N is 200, so that's 200 minus 1, times the common difference, and we said that was 2, because it was going up in steps of 2. So this will be in pence, because all these sums of money are in pence. So 200 minus 1, that's 199, times by 2 is 398. Then add the 5 is 403, so it's 403 pence. 403 pence, better known then as 4 pounds and 3 pence. Okay, so that's the amount in the 200th week. For part B, we've now got to find out what the total savings would have been over the complete 200 week period. So that means we need to total the sum of 5 plus 7 plus 9 etc etc all the way up to that 200th week. And what we should know for this section here is what the sum of an, arith an arithmetic uh, series is. And that's given by this formula, Sn, the sum of the first n terms, equals n over 2, the number of terms, divided by 2, multiplied by the first term, A, plus the last term, which we'll call L. So if we're going to work out then the total savings over the 200, week, 200 weeks, let's just put that in, the total savings. Okay, over 200 weeks. Well that's going to equal S200. And so according to the formula over here, n is 200 and we divide that by 2 multiplied by the first term which was 5 and then the last term be careful here because we're dealing with pence so we've got to take the 403 pence there so that's 403 okay so if we Add 5 to the 403, that's 408, and 200 divided by 2 is 100, so 408 times 100 is 40,800, and don't forget that's in pence now, and that is the equivalent then of 408 pounds. Okay, now some of you might have done this question uh, another way.
there is another formula for the sum of the first n terms. Um, I just didn't think that it was appropriate in this particular example, but it would still work. And that is the sum of the first n terms equals n over 2. Then it is twice the first term, 2a, plus n minus 1 times the common difference. So you should be able to get exactly the same answer, obviously, um, using this formula um, as you would for this particular one. It was only purely because I had the last term as calculated up here that I felt that this would be the more appropriate formula. I do find though with arithmetic series questions that more often than not I'm using this particular formula because I don't know the last term. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Right, well that brings us to the end then of question four and uh, hopefully you've got that.